the hose done, babe. You want to take the angle grinder and scuff it up a little bit to give it, hopefully, like an old, worn look, and then we'll paint it. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. Got a feeling in the moment. Wanna keep it, but it's always fleeting. When I'm dealing with the present, never lasts long. I can scuffed up a little bit if you can see hopefully that. Hopefully, the paint shows through that. We'll see. Yeah, I or, think so. It should. Look a little bit, uh, not so new. Yeah. <laughs> So we painted it, we got the uh, hammered look and not realizing until after I painted it, I obviously covered everything up, all the imperfections. And it says right there, hide service imperfections. So, oh, didn't, didn't that didn't work. <laughs> So what we're working on today is getting everything up and running for our barn doors that are going inside the house. Yes, and we got 100 year old barn door sliders that came from a barn obviously and they're refurbished. <laughs> so they're awesome but it, it did present a slight bit of an issue that we've worked around, wasn't a big deal and that's that the barn door kits that you can buy from like Lowe's and Home Depot, they don't work for these older barn door no, sliders. So we got two of these for one door and this is the other door. So if you look right here, this have roughly about an inch and an eighth for uh, I guess the rail to go through that side right there. The, I guess the modern barn door slides you get are inch and a half. So it's a little bit too big, doesn't fit. So we had to pull yourself all the wood out of the buggy. <laughs> so we had to go up to uh, pretty much a metal place and buy some uh, steel. Yes, so, no, no big deal. No. We got that taken care of, but now we're on to the second thing that we need to work out. Yeah, so hold this. Yep. This part right here, actually, the door slides in here and you bolt through. Um, but looking at this, this is too narrow for the wood we got. This is like an inch and a half right here, and our door is two and a quarter. So that brings us to heating these up, banging these flat, and reheating them up and rebend them to fit the door. Yes, and we actually knew that we were going to run into this situation. We chose, if you guys remember from our last video, to make the door have the same pattern on both the front side and the back side. So both yes. sides of the door look the same. Had we just left it with one side of the door having the like pattern on it and the other side just being completely plain, then these actually would have worked. They would have. But they did not work because that's not what we were going for. So we just need to reconfigure some things. It's we made a little extra work for ourselves, but for aesthetics, oh, really? Yeah, the way we wanted it. So I made a mock-up of the door so I could heat the hinge up and wrap it around that mock-up so I wouldn't mess with the door when I was trying to size that hinge properly. Good bend on it, you know what I mean? That should hopefully work. Here. 
yeah, it should work, Aaron. We should make it, we should be okay, hopefully. Yeah, we'll be all right. So obviously not a perfect setup. We may do, this should work. So now that we have all of the metal prefabbed, we're gonna go ahead and start attaching the rails. One of them is going to be here in this room, outside of the bathroom, and then the other one is going to be back there. It looks good, it looks really good. I'm excited to get the door up now. I wanna put it up right away. <laughs> some privacy too. We gotta to finish up some few more like odds and ends things, but yeah, we're before we put the door, we wanna I guess take care of the wall, yeah. take care of the uh, crown mold in the top, mm -hmm. get all buttoned up done, yes. then whammo the door goes up. Yes. Lady, you're too serious, you're growing up. Paper towel now. Do you see the face Josh is making? That's the face Josh makes when he keeps having to redo drywall. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Look, I repainted, I repainted it. Okay, it looks great. There's like a small spot that like maybe we could touch up. No big deal. <laughs> we'll take care of it. Please, this this board here's been the bane of my existence. <laughs> that's why that's why I planked the entire house. I don't want to do drywall. <laughs> So we're gonna let that guy dry and we're losing sunlight. So before it gets any darker, we're gonna try and get the uh, crown molding done. Yeah. He's great at crown molding, guys. It's just the drywall, you know, the situation. <laughs> it's all right, Josh, we'll just cover up half of the wall with a piece of wood. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was planning on doing that, doing that anyways. I know. <sighs>
having rollers as old turned would have been a simple project into a completely custom job. Everything had to be modified in order to make this work, from the bolts to the rail, just absolutely everything, the hinges, all of it. It has been a really time consuming project, much more so than we initially thought. So we are ready to get the doors hung, but we have a, a slight issue. Because the entire door, like everything has had to be completely customized for these rollers. And it'll be worth it in the end. Yes. Right? We, I just had, we, it had to be difficult, you know, <laughs> try to be original and do something, do something new. And uh, now we're getting slammed. So. It's all right. The issue we're having is since we, we shrunk down the size of the rail to fit. Now that we did it, it fits this way. If you run it like that, you, you hit your, our bolts. We're hitting the bolts right there. And it's a shame too. So, if we get the standard ones um, with the standard rail, it, was, it being so thick, it would have pretty much alleviated the entire thing with the thick ones that don't fit. So we had to do this and now we're fighting it. So maybe if I went a little bit bigger, I could have made it fit and it wouldn't have this issue, but it's too late now. So I guess what we're gonna go ahead and try to do is uh, shave this lag bolt down a little bit from right here and up in an angle so it gets flat. And then I'm gonna put it, this stuff back on with a pair of channel locks or whatever. So I'm gonna have to rig it up to make sure it works. But the good news is that the crown molding looks great. It's much <laughs> more finished, right? And the lump that was in the drywall it's is gone. gone. We still need to touch up the drywall some, but little touch ups, not a major thing like last time. So this, this, everything was a complete overhaul. So it was, yeah. The other um, rollers, the hanger worked great. Yes. With those, I couldn't, I couldn't bend them and make them so notch, thin. Notch it. It's gonna split. Yes. So I made these yesterday too, which took forever. It's, it's been a project. It's been a project. But that that's okay. So um, now we just gotta get we gotta get this done. And we gotta get the doors hung because the snow is falling and it's Chucky is obviously so excited to go play out in the snow, right? They call for eighteen <laughs> to twenty four inches. We'll see what happens. Yes. Hopefully, we don't get that much. Today's family fun day, so we can't spend all day working, Josh. Let's we got, go. We got an hour left. Chip chop. Stay a while. I will find the words to say this time I'm an honest man, will try and speak my mind It's hard to find your way without a line So the fun part is when you're trying to get this thing back on <laughs> What do you think? I think that you are the man to do the job, Josh. <sighs> I gotta do it. I gotta do it uh, like ten more times. <laughs> Ooh, what's the point in living out my days without you? So, I don't think we've really messed up the integrity of that bolt too bad, so I think it should be fine. Hopefully. Everything's gonna roll right on past. It's gonna work? Smooth sailing. Do you wanna know why I knew that this was gonna work? Why? Because you're a <laughs> electrician. <laughs> <laughs> the good news is if you mess the drywall up, it doesn't matter because we have to fix it anyway. <laughs> Skills. <laughs> it looks good. It looks rustic. Right. Looks like I found a rusted old bolt, fixed it up, cleaned it up, painted it, and uh, voila. That works perfect because the sliders are old, you know? 
It all goes together. Thank it you. works, Josh. You make, you make me feel better about myself, you know? That's, <laughs> what, that's what I'm here for. <laughs> How much snow are we supposed to be getting? Not, no. <laughs> not, it's supposed to come right to here on you. <laughs> two feet. That's what I call for. How do you get two feet? Works. So the door is up, um, it's gliding across the bolts just fine now. We have the uh, the door stop that's up yes. top, and then we have the bumper that is on the bottom. Not so, a bumper, it's like I said, it's a, the, a liner, I guess. I'm not sure. A liner, whatever. Whatever, it keeps the door in line. Okay, so, so we're good to go with pretty much everything. The last thing that we're trying to figure out is exactly what we want to do about the door handle on the inside of the door so that it closes all the way, like where we want to put it, all that kind of stuff. Yes. So let's close it up and see what we got. Oh, so we have room. You can put it like that. So it closes, it closes all the way. That's yeah, that's fine. What's wrong with that? Okay, so if we, hook, if we hook that side tight, we should be good. Yeah. Sounds it's good. Not gonna be, it's not going to be the center, but it doesn't matter. You can't really tell, though. It functions. That's it all does, that and uh, we're pretty much winging it as we go. <laughs> on What's this, wrong on with task. that, Josh? That's how we Jeez. got here. <laughs> I know. That's right there. So I'm going to bump her just like that. didn't finish everything that we needed to finish. The drywall's not done, the access panel's not in, and the other door's not hung. But that can happen another day, because today is family day. <laughs> She's so cute, dude. I know. <laughs> Are you all warm and cozy? Yeah. Are you gonna have fun? Yeah. This is your first time gonna see snow, honeybee, that you're gonna remember. Yeah. It's, it's gonna be a big snow, too. Snow. Yeah. Ain't that two inches? <laughs> You're getting snowed in today, babe. I know. It tastes like chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> <Not>. <laughs> no? <laughs>